Hey ya folks, Quill18 here and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Stellaris featuring patch 2.1 which is Niven and the Distant Stars story pack expansion, well, not expansion, story pack, little things, add some extra missions and add some really, yeah there's gonna be some really interesting things to run into out there. And who are we playing today? Well of course we are playing proud representatives of the Gaian Vacation Resorts corporation this is a species of people by the way this this new portrait here that's part of distant stars isn't he adorable the little schnurfly nose over there oh my god too cute for words anyway we are um what was they saying oh yeah guy in vacation resorts corporation basically this corporation was so successful on our planet that literally every single citizen on our planet works for this vacation resorts company and that means we're out of customers that's why we have to go to space so that we can find new customers to come and visit our beautiful shores on our life seated Gaian planet that's what we're going to be playing over here we are going to start the game with a size 25 Gaian world, but we are going to have a Gaian, um, what's the word? I don't know. Our people can only settle on Gaian planets. We can't settle temp or uh, continental or anything like that. We have 0% habitability on all those things. And so it's very likely that we'll only have our home world itself. However, we do have a plan for that. We are materialists and we are natural engineers, or as we like to say, fun engineers. I make no apology. Um, and we are gonna try to develop some robots so that we can go and use them to settle other planets, set up migration treaties, use our free haven trait to really pull as many people into our territory as possible. Uh, we're gonna try to avoid sort of being cheesy and abusing some of the life seated stuff. Although I did take non-adaptive just because um and and really kind of like you know play up this business perspective over here we are fanatic xenophiles we love other people and they will like us because we're xenophiles we're also charismatic which is great communal just for a little extra happiness i don't think this is actually going to matter to be honest we probably could have swapped this for something else but it felt right and the natural engineers were also quick learners which i think is going to be handy dandy and yeah, the materialist will give us a discount to robot upkeep as well as some research speed boost which is going to be real nice although i think the, the primary traits really we're looking at is the life seated free haven and xenophile and charismatic. I think that'll be the, the most definitive aspects of our configuration over here. We are or oligarchic. We uh, we elect a new CEO every 20 years. And our species name, we're the hosts. We're the hosters is what we are. Um, so I didn't want to just write host. I like hoster. I think that's going to be great. So we're going to do that. And our setup is going to be as this. Everything is set to default over here. With the exception, I am going to be playing in a large universe or galaxy, I should say. And I'm going to max out the number of AI empires. I want lots of neighbors. I want lots of people to trade with. We're going to play fairly diplomatically. Now, we're not pacifists. If we do run into someone who's in our way and they're gonna be big jerk faces, then we might have to come to blows. But other than that, I'm gonna be trying to form a federation. I'm gonna to try to do that and see what we can do. Uh, because it is a larger galaxy, by default, the crisis strength does go up to 1.25, so it'll be a little bit more intense. I think that um, we're actually gonna have, there's gonna be some built-in difficulty in, in our setup. I don't think we really have to worry about screwing around with the difficulty too much. I was kind of tempted, but I think it's gonna be more fun to just play for the, the role-playing challenge as opposed to like cranking the difficulty to the max and really playing around there. But I do wanna play a game at one point where I go like grad and roll difficulty with scaling difficulty turned on to see what that's like, but that's not gonna be the game for it. So basically everything's the same. We could go with like a little bit more density of other things which actually might be kind of interesting it's a larger galaxy but it's gonna be packed with empires it might be difficult to get around some of those choke points you know i think i will go and increase the wormholes and maybe i don't know with gateways we can just build but a little bit more wormholes as a way to um scoot around the galaxy and around any you know if we get like some uh purifiers or Something like that that's just in our way. It might help us to create a few more connections. So we've, you know, in the eons since the first primitive hoster communities took shape on the idyllic valleys and lush forest of Front Desk. That's right. This is the reception system and Front Desk is our planet. Uh, our civilization has spread and prospered. So we are now needing to find some customers. Oh, I like this spot. You know, somewhere like halfway between the rim and the galactic center, that's gonna be okay. Gives us a few options for spreading out and finding some neighbors. We're not gonna be able to spread out very far because this is a very tightly packed galaxy. 
but I think that's gonna be okay. Let's take a quick look at our research right away. Uh, research speed, probably a no-brainer. I do have to say, I do like going for the energy boosters early on, but the energy the research speed is good. For society research, I mean, the off-world trading company fits us perfectly, but I think we have to take planetary unification first. That unity booster early on is gonna be wonderful. And for engineering, um, well, I think this is a pretty easy decision, actually. We really don't need the strike craft, especially since it got nerfed. Afterburners, we'll want, but not right now. We're gonna take engineering facility. We do have the 15% boost to engineering um, research from our tiles. Not 15% more over here, but rather when we work a tile with engineering stuff, we get 15% more. So we're gonna want engineering labs for our own species. Here's our Gaian world, which has... Ooh, we got really lucky. We didn't get a single blank tile. Just because it's Gaian doesn't mean we don't have any blank tiles. Gaian means every species has 100% habitability here, and um, it, we are also, because of life seeded, guaranteed to start with a size 25 world, which is going to be really nice. But of course, we can't colonize anything else. Um, construction ship. So as of patch two, of course, we do start off with our home system fully surveyed. Oh, did we start with a binary system? A little brown dwarf, and then we have a class A star around it as well. Oh, we're going to see a lot of very interesting systems. Um, not all the binary systems have both stars in the middle. Some, like, orbit further out. Well, I'm sure we'll see some cool things. There's going to be trinary systems in here as well. Very cool. I don't remember if it's the distant stars that add the binaries and trinaries, or if it's part of 2.1 or not. I mean, they don't really have... As far as I know, there's no gameplay difference between them. I don't know if there's like more likely have more energy with more stars or what, but it's pretty, you know, standard. Anyway, let's go mine up over here. And then our science ship, what direction do we want to go in? I don't think it matters much. Mostly what I'm going to want to do as quickly as possible is poke the three systems that are adjacent to my home because those are the first places that we will probably consider expanding with our construction ship over here. So that's going to be fine. In a shipyard, I'm tempted to get a trading hub right away. I do want to get another science ship. Actually, let's take a quick look over at our leaders. Is there any chance there's a half price? No, there's not a half price scientist. So we can't get another science ship until we have 200 energy. I may as well go ahead and spend some minerals here. And I think it's going to be fine to build it for a trading hub. That's four extra energy. That's really going to pay off well because early on, you, you will quickly run into a bit of an energy deficit. So we can do that. What's our current leader? Our CEO over here, Mordrig, is going to be charismatic for cheaper edicts. I don't know if that's going to be relevant. Plus 10% mineral production, I guess is nice. I would have liked the thing where, like, uh, less influence for, like, expanding our uh, our outposts and stuff, but that'll be that. Uh, as of 2.1, you get this sort of fog of war with hyperspace lanes. You can see over here, we really don't see where all the connections are, so we sort of have to guess a little bit. You know, well, it's another aspect of discovery. You don't know if something's going to lead to a dead end. The other big thing that's different here is the arrangement of the hyperspace lanes. You're going to see something like this. So this is sort of a cluster of stars linked by hyperspace lanes. And then there's going to be these sort of choke points connecting to another cluster of stars connected by hyperspace lanes. Um, and what they're going to be able to do with that is they're going to be able to place space monsters and things better so that they, you don't tend to get completely plugged up and blocked off. The space monsters will be sort of like within a cluster as much as possible so you can skirt around them. And then it also adds more interesting choke points for military stuff, which I think is going to be swell. Uh, i got to wait for 90 minerals before I can go and build something else with the construction ship over here. Look at this, size 17 continental world. Of course, we can't colonize it, but perhaps complete. it'll be a great place for us to expand our corporation to. So I'm gonna build a research station over here rather than go for the energy right away. I think that's gonna be okay. Discovery, did you find alien life? Hodum one, well, I mean, I guess that's a continental world. So there's probably little bugs and little rodents and things like that. Oh, that is very exciting. Of course, we are xenophiles. We are very excited whenever we find the premise of alien life because we need customers is really what it comes down to. So nothing for us to colonize yet. No one, uh, yeah, we are buzzed with the news of alien life. Absolutely. Um, of course, we can't colonize anything. We haven't found anyone sapient yet. No one who we can sell a vacation package to. Uh, someone you can sell a timeshare to, that sort of thing. But soon, we have we have hope that we will indeed complete. find something like that. Um, do I want to save my minerals just to go and expand out here? Rather, I think I do. I think I'm going to hold off on the energy for just a scooch. Energy will become critical, but I think I'm just going to wait and make sure we can aggressively... Hmm. I mean, we're going to want to expand to all these things anyway, and at least it does have some science. Sure. And we will have enough to go and get the next one. Yeah, I think that's okay. I can wait on that. <clears throat> I might get both of these over here. Fleeing aggressors. 
Okay, well, we've got a hostile fleet right away. No numbers on the stats. Let's do some quick little research. Oh, and I wasn't paused. I was going to go and take a peek at them. Uh, but I didn't pause, so I wasn't actually able to take a look at whatever's over there. But you can see it's not blocking any way in or out of the cluster, which is going to be nice. So we'll be able to deal with it whenever. How about a world surveys? Yes, let's run that. We want to find some uh, some expansion world, some franchise world. Oh, that's the name we're going to use. Franchise worlds. Excellent. So you're abandoning over there. You're going to go over here. Hopefully there's a um, good amount of minerals here. Not having minerals here is kind of a little annoying. We also haven't found our first anomaly yet, so we haven't had a chance to talk about the new anomaly system in 2.1. An anomaly system where you cannot fail. Although, given my luck, probably we'll find some way to fail an anomaly. What is this? Size 20 ocean world. Okay, yeah, excellent. This is gonna be our, our surfing planet uh, for all the, the water, like the scuba diving, snorkeling enthusiasts, Special all that kind of stuff. Complete. But here, pause, 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 pause. We have indeed found our very first anomaly over here. So, no longer can you fail an anomaly. Anomaly difficulty simply scales up the amount of time it takes to research the anomaly, and it can scale up quite a bit. So you might still want to make sure to match your scientist's skill to the anomaly difficulty, but it gets rid of like that, that you know, you can wait as long as you want and then still maybe end up with like a 5% chance to fail, and then you can fail critically and lose your scientist. Ugh. There's still like, sometimes an anomalies will lead to um, uh, projects to research. And some of those things can still fail, especially if you make the wrong choice for things. But the anomaly research itself does not. And I'm super, super happy about that. So some of the ones that might take really long, I might leave them for later. Um, but for now, this one's going to be fine. So we've got our crystalline entities. And you know, I'm going to go, I'm, again, I'm not a pacifist. But I'm a xenophile and like wildlife, that can be a good draw for for ecotourists and things. So yes, we're gonna try to learn to coexist with the crystalline creatures here. Uh, this is gonna be way too long to research right now, so I'm gonna hold off. But that's probably what these guys are and then they'll turn non-hostile. 3K? Good God, that is pretty intense. But yeah, if they just turn non-hostile, I don't have to worry about killing them. We can go and scooch that. Assuming those are the crystalline creatures, but they must be. This is the only things we've seen so far. Construction complete. Um. Okay, well, we've got nothing else to do. We may as well go ahead and get the energy. Uh, and I am gonna want another science ship. I guess, yeah, we're gonna get that started. Clicky, clicky. We've got enough money to get another scientist and we can start to expand out. We wanna meet a bunch of people. Predacious plant life has made a troubling find on Zodier 2. Planet's megaflora is not only widespread and gargantuan in proportion, but also predatory. Various species of carnivorous plants rest patiently on its surface, uh, releasing aromatic lures into the air and waiting for prey to come near. Sensitive tendrils on the terminus of the plant's leaves register the approach of animals, resulting in plants snapping shut around their hapless prey, which are left to be slowly corroded by digestive acids. The scientist warns that oh, any future colonists will have to steer clear of these predatory plants as they appear more than capable of trapping a lone adult hoster. So, okay, maybe danger tourism is actually what's going to happen over here. Dang. Yeah, the negative, uh, negative habitability... I don't know if that's going to impact um, migration later on. I think it's still going to be fine. It's still going to be fine. Of course, we can't even consider that until we get to droids. Not robots, complete. but droids. And then we can colonize Holy the planets. Cow. But we also need to, need to some migration treaties so that people can come. Uh, finished construction queue. That's the extra science ship. We found another anomaly over here. Unexplained pattern interference. Okay, not much flavor text there yet, but that's okay. Science ship. Science. Oh yeah, what are our current scientists? We've got experience gain, uh, military theory, yeah, nothing really strong. We don't have any like geniuses or anything here. Nothing here even helps with um, serving. I guess I'll just grab the youngest guy. Oof, so you live longer. And let's go out uh, over here and see what we can see. And this construction ship is still idle, I guess. Well, I guess I'm gonna move you over here. At least there's some minerals, finally. Kind of a weak start. Okay, we're definitely going discovery over here. Increase our chance of discovering anomalies, which is going to be great. We get a variety of science boost, 10% boost when we finish as well. Um, certainly we'll be doing diplomacy. At some point we might get expansion, although with such a crowded galaxy, even once we get robots, it might not be worthwhile. Sonified science. So we get some musical... Yeah, it's a song with like a musical pattern. Which is interesting. It gives us a little bit of science. Not the most tremendous discovery, but hey, it's something. 
you know, we're getting XP by researching things. Actually, you get re XP for serving. I don't know. Do you get re XP for just completing an anomaly? Just by default? I don't know. <clears throat> Plenty of anomalies give lots of experience. So we shall see. I wonder what our precursor is going to be. Somebody's going to get Utes all the time. I think uh, way long ago I used to get nothing but Cybrex, and then like lately it's been all, all Utes all the time. I don't know how many different ones there are. I think Systems four or five? Complete. Maybe four. So we got another anomaly, uh, an asteroid that is weird. So is that the one where it was like towed in? I think that'll be like a plus three mineral event or something. That's going to be very nice. <clears throat> you can go and expand here. That's going to be a good system. Some energy and some minerals early on. Brilliant. I mean, of course, we want science boosters as well, but we're a little mineral poor. Now, how? Toad asteroid. Oh, it's plus three engineering. That's right. That is fine and good. You're about to finish here. You know, let's go here temporarily. I'll probably just build a mine network here as well, but we'll save the food just in case we need to shuffle things around for our growth early on. Research complete. Yes, plus five research, please and thank you. Um, I'll get the fusion reactor because these do require more energy, I think. So you may as well get the energy booster first because otherwise it can be sometimes impossible to position things. <clears throat> so our science ship... I guess this is kind of, it might be dead endy. I mean, it must. I think we would see these routes. So, is this seriously our only way out of here? Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and I could just explore. That'll confirm the um, the paths. I guess I'll go ahead and do this. I mean, there's a limit to how quickly we can um, expand out anyway with our construction ships. Construction complete. And, you know, with our influence, we've got enough we could possibly do a bit more. Yeah, we will need another construction ship, but yeah, we don't want to be blocked in too much. They did add a thing in this patch, though, at least for your science ships, complete. that they can go and, like, avoid hyperspace lanes. So at least you can keep sort of exploring that way. We only have the one planet. It is a big planet. The pop growth might be nice. On the other hand, no, I'll get this, because I was going to say, Harrison site is really nice, but it's going to be a while before we can really build it, and it costs energy. We'll just take the pop growth booster. It'll actually help us out quite a bit by populating our planet faster. Size 14 continental world. Okay, so at least we've got plenty of franchise off these. I'm really happy about that. Sure, one of the planets has like killer plant life, but you know, other than that, everything is good and fine. Uh, leveled up scientists, a couple complete. level twos, front desk finish its production queue, excellent. Um, let's get another science ship. Three is probably as much as I'm willing to micro until we get automated uh, surveying. <clears throat> but I think a third one will definitely pay off. And yeah, there's definitely no route over here. We definitely see it. You can see, like, our hyperspace detection range is fairly far away. Complete. And as you get a better engine as well, you'll see a little further. So I was pretty sure there wasn't anything there, but yeah. All right, you're here. Please g give me something good. God, no. Uh, we already have a field one. I suppose I'll take one of these guys. Because we can always... Um, see, we have a genetic one. See, if we do a little swappy do over here, we could at least get a genetic guy in there. But that kind of micromanagement is not especially fun, so yeah. Here, you go ahead this way. <clears throat> I was going to say one of these guys just lost their scientist. Boom. So yeah, we could do that to try to boost our science, just swapping um, who's running the science based on what the thing is. But it'd be great to get some, uh, what's the light bulb one? Is it Spark or Genius? Or Research some Maniacals complete. or something? System survey complete. Challenging. I'm going to go for it. It's fine. It'll be a little slow, but that's okay. Engineering facility is done, I think, now. I mean, all these Corvette boosters will be very nice, but we'll just take plus 5% minerals. And over here on our Gaian world, I mean, it'll take some mineral and cost us a little bit more, but I think it's going to be well worth boosting our science just a little bit. I mean, that's nearly 10% more engineering research we're going to get just from doing that. <clears throat> so that's pretty good. Uh, you're going to come over here, get me some more minerals. Excellent. I mean, we will have to go and make sure we get all this uh, energy later on, but for now we're okay. I would very much like the plus one research alternatives. We don't Assistance need... The survey speed will be nice, <clears throat> but not critical, and we don't need the um, the assist research. Leadership gain, unity over here. Yeah, we're just going to go down the right branch. If we get a faction that wants, like, one of the other traditions, uh, we might do that, because influence will be good. What skill? Home in the sky trait. That's my CEO. What does that mean? Ooh, uh, so we don't actually get cheaper star bases, just cheaper star base modules. <clears throat> okay, well, and upgrade complete. costs. I guess that's fine. 
construction. Well, complete. I guess that that also means if you're just turning an outpost into a real starbase. Uh, yeah, we'll just research it. I mean, 300 days, it's fine. We got the three science ships now. It's okay. Well, okay, we're gonna go this way, because this is leading us outwards, and also that's a ton of minerals. We're gonna have pirates and stuff happening. What I'm gonna do over here is I'm just gonna prep with my fleet manager. I'm just gonna like say, listen, at some point we're gonna want a full like 20 corvettes in here. I, I'm not gonna build any right now, but it'll be ready to go. Repair automated Situation shipyard. Log updated. Oh, that'll give me some more ships. I'll need another construction ship. You know what? Or I'll need a construction ship for that. I was gonna say I may as well build another construction ship now. Our income is going up a little bit. We can probably support that. I think we'll be okay. Now, if you did miss any anomalies, we now have this anomaly um, list in our situation log, which is really handy to be able to reference, especially if you're leaving the higher level ones behind for later. Uh, mineral count is getting a bit low, so I will go ahead and get the minerals hooked up over here so we can keep paying for everything else. Okay, what is this one? Strange mountain formation. Non-natural. I don't remember what that one is. <clears throat> a, a few of the anomalies, like all the anomalies have had to be rechecked a little bit for the new system. I think a few have been rewritten, and there's a bunch of new ones. I mean, this is a story pack. Oh, it's amusement park. I don't know. That's not the one I was just looking at, though, but this will be handy. That's a lot of engineering Construction research. Construction complete. That's like half my current thing. And I don't think it gets instantly applied. I think there's like sort of backlogs. I don't remember how they do it. Let's say something about stored. Construction complete. Stored research. I don't know. I think that's what it is, and it burns through some of the stored amount. Yeah, 188. So until the storage goes down, you're getting basically twice as month per month. Okay, you're done here. So let's go, let's focus on the minerals first. It's nice when you have enough minerals in your bank that you can just right click on a whole system and just have it be done. <clears throat> kind of like that. So close, but uh, let's go and get you there. And yeah, we have a project over here. Oh, that's the one where we need the actual construction ship for. Oh, the giant skeleton. I think this will give like log plus six science, like plus three plus three, isn't it? I think so. Oh, it's in Lando as well, fantastic. I mean, good name. And also, it's guaranteed to be safe. I mean, this dead end. Oh, it's not going to be good for, like, meeting people. It's actually really unfortunate. It's going to be very System important that we complete. get, like, gateway tech. Yeah, if we get boxed in over here, we're going to have a really bad time. Okay. Uh, I mean, we still need to take care of this so we don't get pirates forever and ever. But, no, let's prioritize getting the heck out of here. Go, go. Pop growth. If we meet someone unfriendly and someone who closed their borders, we might have to do like a really early research war complete. just not to get stuck. And that's really, I was trying to avoid that. Here, we'll get the research station actually. Uh, plus 5% minerals. Nice. Oh, we can get robots right away. Now, we can't um, expand with just robots. We need droids, but this will lead there. Let, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this is the... Skeletal remains. Oh, because I think you can get like plus three, plus three, but this is not that one. Or it's a random outcome or something. Experience and a little bit of physics research. Not as good as I'd hoped, but I guess it'll do. Uh, okay, we've got passive of energy. Let's go over here and do the research with our construction ship. That's going to be fine. You can keep surveying over here, and then you're going to survey over that way. <clears throat> and I might end up people sending, you know, redundant science ships to the same place, but that's okay. They'll scan that system a little faster. It's not a big deal right now. Now, I could actually just send them out and explore duties complete. so that they meet people faster, which might give us a hint as to where we want, might want to go, but I don't think that's critical. Let's go and get another one of you, and then we can probably just right-click the system after that <clears throat> and have enough. <gasps> Beta aliens. And that's probably a science ship. Boom. Yep. Yeah. Nope. I was misinterpreting the symbol, but I bet you that is. I mean, that's not like a, a space critter. That's someone else's science ship. So we're going to meet our first neighbor. Hopefully they're not jerks. I want to build federations and everything here. I want to go through the entire diplomatic branch System survey complete. and do what we can. Okay, you're done there. I think I did send someone here, but yeah, we'll survey this way anyway. Go, go, go. And we're going to see who our neighbor is, and then we'll probably put the cut at that point. We have the automated shipyard repair thing, too. That is just about done now. Special project complete. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think it's making some ships. Yeah, three ships done. 
They're destroyer tiers, right? Uh, no, they're Corvette types, but that's still fine. We can group you up, put you together, that's gonna be fine. Our homeworld needs a building, building, building. Who needs the building? You! You need the building. I'm gonna definitely put a mining network on you. Although we're gonna go negative money. We've got more traditions available. I want to take polytechnic education. More experience, more faster, more better. You are apparently not just going to be able to right-click the system quite yet. Next month, but here, go and do this. And then this construction ship over here, we could hook up this system, but... Oh, we need to finish scanning this. Tell you what, I'll send you to Lando. It's not going to help us expand outwards, but it's actually going to be a pretty good one for just getting more growth. I need to take one of these science ships and be like, Hey, listen, you got to finish that, otherwise we can't leave. Grr. And at some point, and this is still a pretty long project, so 174 months, uh, we're going to try to pacify those guys. And we still have to check out the DRAM system over here. Oh, look at this. It's a pulsar sucking. Because a pulsar is like a black hole that sucks in stuff from another star. Or am I thinking of the wrong thing? I feel like that's right. I don't know. Anyway, we'll put a cut in here. I think this is going to be a very exciting game with our Gaian Vacation Resorts Corporation. Uh, you've seen the commercials. Now come and experience the lifestyle for yourself. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.